Hey, welcome back to FDIC. My name is Tom Smith, Aerial Sales Specialist with Fierce Manufacturing. We have an awesome 100-foot aerial platform that I'd like to uh, show you some of the nice features of. Compliments of Goshen Fire Company out of uh, Pennsylvania. Um, we'll kind of walk around and I'll show you some of the nice features here. On the front bumper extension, you're going to notice 110-volt reels with junction boxes on both sides of the bumper extension, storage in the center, heavy duty bumper with rhino coating, steel bumper with rhino coating, of course the traditional Mars lights and the rotor ray on the front cab with Q2B siren recess in the bumper extension, in the grill. This is our Aero XT heavy duty, extreme duty chassis. And as you can see, pretty much everything interior is going to be non-plastic. So everything is going to be stainless steel and steel interior. Very heavy duty ruggedness. This customer decided to go with a red interior to match the exterior of the apparatus. Looks very nice. This cab is six man seating, has frontal and side airbags. In the rear crew cab, you're going to notice EMS storage cabinets on the back wall, each side of the cab. This is a full tilt chassis. Engine in this apparatus is going to be a Detroit DD13 500 horsepower engine. As you notice in the pump area, we're going to have two pre-connect crosslays. The pump on this apparatus is a Hale 2000 single stage Q-Max pump, two two and a half inch discharges, Rhino coat pump panel, all LED lighting for the pump panel area. In addition to the pump panel lights, we incorporated a step for the firefighter to be able to step on to access the Dunwich area. Above the stabilizers, you're going to notice we have another 110 volt reel with junction box. Very nice compartment layout on this apparatus. As you can see, we have slide out drawers and trays. In the center, we actually have a 30 degree slide out tilt down tray. Air bottle storage will be in the fender panels. This apparatus has ROM roll-up doors. Turntable access will be from the rear. Drop-down step, as you can see, very ergonomic to climb up and down the turntable, each side of the apparatus. On the rear of the apparatus, we're gonna have 176 feet of ground ladders. Storage area here will be for a high-rise pack for the firefighters to slide a high-rise pack in for storage. Stabilizers control will be off the pendant controller so the firefighter can actually walk around the apparatus as they're setting the stabilizers. On this side here is going to be our trough style hose bed and this will accommodate up to 900 feet of 5 inch hose, flat laid, front to rear. Access again for the turntable, same as the driver's side. On the passenger side, you're going to notice, again, very nice layout of shelving and slide-out trays. Additional storage, we have actually what we call a tilt hinged tool panel, so you can actually store Equipment on both sides of the panel and on the back wall gives you additional storage. Above the stabilizer, we're going to have another cord reel with a 110 volt junction box. And on the passenger side pump panel, we're going to have a four inch discharge, two and a half inch discharge, additional pony suction inlet, and the pump six inch inlet. Hose trough for 30 feet of 5 inch soft suction hose. Nice 
shot here of our uh, crew cab again with EMS cabinet on the passenger side also. This has cold climate heaters, air conditioning. And then our Imperial 1200 seat interior. Here's a nice shot of our airbags, uh, frontal airbags. The dash is also notched for our computer docking station for the officer. Now this is a 100 foot platform and we'll get a good shot of it up in the air here. It's a thousand pounds dry, 500 flowing water. We'll capable of flowing up to 2,000 GPM. It has blue LED right, rung lighting up the entire ladder for nighttime for a firefighter climb for visibility. It has uh, LED quartz lights on the basket here again to light up the scene at nighttime. It has a Stokes basket box mounted uh, behind a boom sign that we can actually store our Stokes basket and rope, roping and rigging in that box. On the fly section, it is housing a pike pole, axe, and hooligan tool. This ladder is rated in a 35 mile an hour wind, quarter ice buildup, and up to 100 pounds of loose equipment in the basket, in addition to what I just talked about. Another good shot of the front bumper extension with the accessories out I talked about earlier. Appreciate you spending time with me on this beautiful 100-foot aerial platform for Goshen Fire Company. Come back and see us on another take.